These fascinating images are worth a closer look. This is a new AI image generator named Styler AI, which is definitely an amazing AI tool and a powerful image editor. Now, without a further delay, let me walk you through the tutorial step by step. Before further proceeding, like the video and subscribe to my channel. Step 1. After clicking on the link given in the description below, you will enter this website. Click the sign up button and sign up via your Google account or email. Here you can scroll down and see that there are many styles that you can apply to your photos like illustration design, logo design, abstract art, portrait photography, etc. By clicking on your account in the top right corner, you can see that when you create a new account, you get 200 credits and after every 7 days, your credits are refreshed, meaning you get 200 more credits. To start a project, click on the New Project option. Step 2. Image to Image AI After entering this main canvas, first you can name your project. Here, you will see different dimensions of the canvas, we select custom from them and select the dimension of our choice. Like 1280 by 720. Click on Import Images button and select the image from the hard drive. Click on Image to Image button. Here you will find many styles in the style category, like a commercial portrait, cartoon anime, studio portrait, delicate aquarelle, dreamy 3D, realistic, innocent cute etc. Before selecting photo style we go to prompt box and enter our prompt. We can either write a custom prompt or use the system's automatic prompt insertion. Click on the auto prompt option, Styler's artificial intelligence analyzes our image, recognizes all its elements and generates a prompt based on it. You can see that it has generated a very precise prompt, according to our image. Now we select the photo style. As I have selected the innocent cutie style. I increased the structure match option, this option adjusts how well the generated image matches the input composite in terms of content structure. I also increased the style intensity a bit. Now I click on the Stylerize option. After a short while the results are displayed. He created four images according to our specified style. If you are not satisfied with these results, click Stylerize button again to create more images. It has generated four more images for us. Click on the image you want to save. Now let's apply another style to the same image. As I have selected cartoon anime style. Click on the Stylerize button to start the processing. You can see that it has given us four images in cartoon anime style. Now let's try another style. I select studio portrait style. This time, before clicking the Stylerize button, we change our prompt. It has prepared the best prompt according to our image with the help of AI. Now click on the Stylerize button. You can see that the studio portrait style has generated four very nice images for us. Let's apply another style and see what result it gives us this time. This time I select the dreamy 3D style. Click the Stylerize button to generate another four images according to this style. Wow! Again, it has provided excellent images for us. Indeed, I am very much satisfied with the results. Now we will select the images we like, from all these images, and click the Place on Canvas button. So that they appear in front of us in the form of layers. You can see that these five layers are in front of us. One of them is the image that we imported from our hard drive, and the other four images are generated by AI, which are here in the form of layers. If you want to save these images then click on the export button. 
Here, you can select file type, either PNG or JPG. Second, you can select image size, 1x, 2x or 3x. If we select 2x size, it will import only the image that we see in front of us, but since we want to import all the images at once, we will select 1x and tick export all layers button. Now click the export button, this will download all our images at once. Step 3, Text to Image AI. First, we select the name of our project. Here from the various aspect ratios, I select 16 by 9, and click on the Apply button. Click on Text to Image button. In the Style category, we let the realistic style be as it is. Now we paste our prompt into the prompt bar that we have already created. Click on the Stylerize button to start the processing. Wow! What a beautiful images it has provided according to our prompt. We select all these four images, and click the Place on Canvas button. You can see that, we have these four image in the form of layers. Now let's add an object to this image through Generative AI. For that purpose, click the Insert button. In the background of the image, where we want to insert the object, we select the place with the help of the brush. By entering the prompt in the prompt box, we will click on the Generate button. After a while, it has generated four wall clocks according to our prompt. We can select one wall clock for our image. If you are not satisfied with these images, you can generate more images by clicking this button. After selecting the object, click the Put on Canvas button. Now let's try another text to image with new prompt and see what kind of result this time it provides. After pasting the prompt in the prompt box, we click on the Stylerize button. Oh, look at that, what an excellent images it has generated. I select these four images and click the Place on Canvas button. You can see that we have all four images in the form of layers. Let's add an object to this image through Generative AI. By clicking the Insert button, we mark the place where we want to insert the object in the image with a brush. By entering the prompt in the prompt box, we will click on the Generate button. Within a short time it has generated four objects as per our prompt. I select the object and click the Put on Canvas button. You can see how realistic the image is, and the object we have added are also looking very realistic. We select all the layers so that we can download all these images. Tick Export All Layers button. Now click the Export button, this will download all our images at once. I hope you've learned new things from this video. If so, I expect you to like the video and share it with your friends. This will give me motivation to make the next video. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming AI videos.